and staff and to show y'all what made in America really means. Yeah, we've talked about my pillow for forever, it seems like, on this network. And you take a look uh, what's going on uh, in front of us. And, you know, it, we thought, Liz, it would be nice to kind of come out here and give you an idea of what it takes to put one of these pillows together. And it is a journey. We got a little bit of a tease earlier on it to find out exactly what it takes. And so we're, we want to share that with you. First of all, thanks for having us in your facility today. I know you got a lot going on. Obviously, the business is booming. What are we doing here? What, what, what part of the plant is this? This is the sewing center where they are sewing the ticks. This is called a, a tick with the fill goes into making a pillow. So today they're sewing king premiums and they there's a different variety of lofts from yellow white green blue and they're sewing the the premium today okay, and there's an opening at the end of that so let's make the significance of that is is why because that's going to come into play later right there's an opening that they'll have to all the sewers leave so they can uh, fill the pillow when it gets to production so as they're sewing it they leave an opening um, at the end of the tick to uh, complete the pillow. All right, so how many shifts do you have here? Obviously, we don't, you, know, you have a lot of people now, but is this something that goes on all day long? Two shifts, two eight hour shifts, first shift, second shift, and they're always sewing uh, the ticks, about 35, 40 individuals per shift doing our sewing. All right, let's, let's walk, let's, as we go, this is just like we said, this is one part of this journey and you've got a huge facility here so uh this is just part of the process of putting one of these my pillows and of course we've talked about all the other products you have here uh that you make uh, at this company and we'll, we'll get into that so okay so let's walk down here uh you can see over to my left that is the uh, fabric really quickly brian i want to remind everyone there's so many comments right now saying we oh, love wow. my pillow i want to order sheets before you do that Please use code RSBN at checkout for up to 66% off your entire order at MyPillow.com. This is a great way to make sure that MyPillow knows that we sent you and for us to be able to get some of that profit. It helps support us as a business. So again, go to www.MyPillow.com, use code RSBN, and you'll get up to 66% off your entire order. But not just that, you guys. For the first time ever, we have permission from Mike Lindell, Listen, well, I'll tell you the truth. I asked him, can we have like two or three books and maybe two or three pillows so we can do a giveaway? He said, what? Mm -hmm. No, you guys can give away a bed. So we're going to be giving away a bed during this stream. We want you guys to listen to every single detail because at the end of it, Brian and I are going to ask a question. And if you were the best listener and you can answer that question, we don't know what it's going to be yet. So just listen out for our details about some facts about my pillow maybe where is my pillow made um, does Mike Lindell believe in redemption and second chances stuff like that you know nothing too difficult but listen up we are gonna be choosing a winner and you'll be able to get one of their new beds for whatever bed size you need and that is courtesy of my pillow we're so excited for that we'll be doing two small giveaways as well for smaller home items but you guys this is gonna be so much fun we're gonna go through exactly how everything is made we're going to be talking to staff some of the um, people who say that they are Mike that Mike has given them a second chance as well and then we'll be showing you their beautiful products that they have at their retail store yeah so. and and we do have our mask on Liz and they are doing all the safety precautions here at my pillow as well as you know the state of Minnesota so that's why we have our mask on as you can tell that social distancing to for the most part is in place here as well so good point on that and okay so let's walk because we've got a lot of ground to cover a you've lot. got a hundred you know hundreds of thousands of square feet here at this facility we want to make sure that we take you on a complete tour now to our left this is just the fabric that they're using right this is our uh, cotton fabric that we um bring in and make all of our ticks with that we have cut here to size for everyone uh, from king queen roll and go travel okay. and all right so let's keep moving so we've got we've got this now after this what is the next process um from, where does it go from here these are sewn inside out so uh once they are sewn and completed it comes over to our flipping department and these will get flipped inside right 
so they can be uh, examined and be ready for production. Okay, let's see if we can get a shot of that. Created this machine here, flipping machine. All right, well, let's see if we can get a shot of that. You can see, so the, the outside of the pillow cover goes in. Yep, goes in and flips it. So then it can be uh, examined to where this, these individuals will poke the corners, get them all straightened out and examined for uh, ready for production. And before this, everything was done by everything hand. Everything was done by hand before yeah, this. That probably took a long, long time. And as we talked about earlier, being productive as possible is key in this type of organization because we, we've gone over the numbers a little bit and you guys have seen a, a huge spike in, uh, in, uh, in order. So it could, as you can see there, they're basically straightening yep. out the corners. Right? Yep, they're poking the corners and they'll check it over for a QA one more time just to make sure there aren't any blemishes, any Everything is 100% ready to go. All right, so let's keep walking. Yep. Liz, did you think you were going to learn this today? I mean, there's so much, right? I was hoping that I would, I think we decided, we said this place is either going to be really small and we're going to be like, what? Or it's going to blow our minds, right? Yeah. This is our first time seeing my pillow headquarters. We've been working with them for about six months now, and it's just been such a beneficial and incredible opportunity for both of the parties involved. So this is something Brian came up with the idea with last week. He said, let's take our viewers to MyPillow headquarters. You guys have bought so many products from them and I think this is a really cool way to show you where your products are coming from. You wanna know where it's made, how it's made. Something to note, you're gonna see dozens of people working right now. They had somewhere between 300, 200. How many employees do you have? 50 we have here during first shift. Absolutely incredible. Just this shift they have 350 employees working. So. I mean, just talking about stimulating the local economy, we'll announce, yes, of course, the left has been trying to cancel, as they like to call it, my pillow. A lot of big box stores are not sending in their orders, not selling it anymore, but we've talked to these guys, they'll talk about it a little bit more in detail. They are doing better than ever before. They can barely get out enough orders to fulfill the orders that are coming in. I guess I'm learning all these new terms. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, open space on the shelves because they're leaving before we can even fill those open spaces. They're flying off the shelf. Okay, so this next area here is what? It all begins. This is our cutting table. Our cutting table will produce the tick, uh, whether it's a king or queen, uh, travel. It uh, does all the cutting itself here. John is getting it set up for us and it, it gets it cut very precise and there's very little scrap from what it used to be back in the old days where we do it by hand. Let's see if we can get a shot of that, Will. Let's come over here. We're cutting it right now. And you know, it's all about being as productive as possible, right? And having a very little leftovers and things that you don't use. Yep, the scrap has been reduced immensely now with this precision cutting. Okay, so now we, you've seen how we've uh, got the pillow case and we've flipped it, we reversed it, yep. and we got it spread out. We've got the uh, pattern cut. So now everything gets boxed up and ready for production so we can make a pillow. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk over. And if you want to give us an idea of the amount of materials that you have in here, obviously it's a ton of paper. A ton of boxes. We go through a lot of boxes every single day because we have a master box and we have regular packaging boxes and uh, bags you name it we have to we go through hundreds and hundreds of thousands every week to keep up with production yeah you can see all the uh, wheel they're stacked up to the ceiling basically and uh and we also talked to liz they do a lot of recycling here as well which is very cool because you would think dealing with all of these products Obviously, you're going to have leftover, but they recycle. Yeah, absolutely. And we're about to walk up to that in a few minutes. A massive amount of recycling. They said none of this goes to the landfill. I mean, it's a liberal's dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> but it's of course, no, it's planet, everyone's right? dream come true. It's really incredible. They also bring a lot of these products in. We're going to see the foam up here as well um, in just a little bit. That I believe you said mm, another northern state. Let me see if I was listening. <laughs> mm, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Correct. All right, there so, you go. Okay, made so in America, all the way. These are all staged and getting ready to ship out. This happens to be for Sam's Club, 
Okay. Sam's Club has uh, been placing a lot of orders for us. Shout out the Sam's Club there. And of course, uh, a great company, great American company. Correct. Okay, so but that goes where? These sh the shipping docks behind us, right? Yep, these shipping docks, they'll, uh, they all get scheduled for uh, pickup and they'll uh, get them out the door as soon as they arrive. Okay. Let's just keep walking. I want to make sure we stay out of these people's way as well as you've got a whole crew here working, which by the way, Liz, we didn't tell our viewers that the temperature outside is around seven. The wind chills in the negative and then tomorrow the wind really picks up We've got negative 40 windshields, but thank goodness you and I are flying out of here, right? <laughs> it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> uh, reminds me a lot of our rally days. Oh, my goodness. Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, but it's good to be here again. We're so excited. Yes. We're right side broadcasting. We're live at my pillow headquarters. So many of y'all have supported Mike Lindell, and we wanted to give you a really in-depth tour of where your products coming or where your products are coming from how they're made and who's making them it's really incredible the american dream it is the american dream and he goes from being someone that was down and out to now someone that uh is helping others with their second chance in life and we'll talk to an individual here uh we're actually just going to pull him in right now We'll give you that. So let's tell her about your, your name and uh, where, where, where you're from. Uh, my name is Graham. I'm originally from San Diego, California. Um, I moved out here about five years ago. Um, steel was um, using dope, stealing cars. Um, got in trouble out here and realized uh, while I was locked up that I wanted to change my life. While I was locked up and in treatment, I uh, Heard about Mike Lindell, my pillow, how he's willing to give people like myself and predicaments like myself with a criminal background second chances. Uh, immediately upon completing treatment, I came to my pillow seeking employment. They gave me a job on a third shift uh, in a grinder, and I uh, worked my way up from there. Um, more than happy and grateful for Mike and all the opportunities he's been giving me and my family. My significant other also works here, is also a recovering addict. Um, and, and thanks to Mike, we, we, we're really getting our lives together. And that's been one of the things that he's talked about so much, that he's a recovering addict, he's yep. about second chances, and you are absolutely walking proof yes. of, that, uh, of that mindset that he has here. I am 100% the proof. Um, like I said, I have, I have more felonies than I'd like to put out there. Um, no other company in the world or in the United States would ever give somebody like me a chance. Mike, more than happy to open up his arms, let me in, give me training, teach me new things, uh, you know, pretty much put the ball in my court and let me see what I can do with it. And I'm, I'm grateful to yeah. give everything I can give to him for yeah. that. Well, we appreciate you uh, taking time with us. Yeah. And you're a very busy man, Liz. We learned that, you know, he's, he's basically, uh, yeah, all over the place here. And he gave us a 50 cent tour oh. earlier. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh. All right, so why don't we just turn the camera around? We'll, we'll, we'll follow you. We're going to follow yeah. you. Take us through. What are we looking at right now? Uh, right now we're looking at uh, Masters. Um, this is what we ship our product out in. As you see, there's a bunch of volume right here because do, even though that most of the box stores are saying that they are not doing business with us, we still have, uh, like Walmart is one of our big customers right now, Sam's Club as well, Hendrix. We have a couple of other people out there that are still sticking with us. So we need all this stuff right here just to get that product at. This is what we ship it in. Okay. What we're looking at right here right now is going to be our foam. This is the other company that you mentioned that comes out of Wisconsin, Federal Foam. Uh, they um, ship us this. It comes in the black bags like this with nine sticks per black bag. And then what we do is we stack them onto these pallets so we can air them out so we don't have any of the smell from the chemicals or anything like that. We give it about three days to air out. That way, when you get your pillow at home, you have no no smell to it. Makes total sense there. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so let's move to, let's keep on going and then, down. And then just on a little side note right here, right now we're averaging about 80 to 90 pallets of foam a day we re yeah, that we use for wow. products that are going out, that, that we are yeah. shipping just as quick as we can. Earlier wow. today, all these rows were, were full. I think even when we walked through here earlier, this one was further I think out. you're right. That just goes to show how quick we can burn through it. Oh yeah, and then right here we are we recycle all the black bags and all of the cardboard that we use as well. And as you can see right here, that's exactly what these employees are doing. They're recycling all of that stuff. Okay, this next section is very close 
to uh, Liz's heart. Let's turn the camera around. We'll, we'll walk that way. This is an area that you love, right? Yes. So I'm going to mess up the terms, I'm sure. But Graham was saying earlier, a lot of there's different sections. Some of it is retail and commercial. Those are the well, two. So, so on one side of the factory, we, what we have is what we have a retail business and then we have our e-commerce. Okay. Our e-commerce is everything that you guys are purchasing online at MyPillow.com or what you guys are also purchasing through your guys' website if you use the promo code. Anything that is with that, this is the this is the e-commerce side of it. Let's, so this is when you order online, these are your orders going okay, out right now. Let's jump into some of these boxes so we can show y'all what they have. Um, but so this, when you go to www.mypillow.com and you use code RSBN, your products are going to come right through here and be shipped straight out that door. But it's so cool to see um, the home place of where so many of you have gotten your incredible MyPillow products. I know we have sold so many and it's such a blessing to us and to Mike Lindell and MyPillow and his hundreds of employees who are staying busy despite not only the cancel movement but as well as a global pandemic. Um, it's just really incredible. I think people are spending a lot more time at their houses and homes now than ever before. And they want to make sure that they are as cozy and comfortable as possible. And the best way to do that is by going to MyPillow.com, checking out all of their inventory and using code RSBN. Don't forget, we're going to be doing a massive giveaway at the end of this tour. So stay tuned for that. Mike Lindell will be giving away. He didn't specify. I don't know what type of bed. Yeah. What type of bed is new? What's a cool new bed? Yeah, Any cool new details bed? on that? What is a cool new bed? Um, I, I it could be our yeah we have the we have the coral uh, bed in a box we have the bed in a box we have the topper we have the two inch topper we have the third I mean it's we have so many different products I, and we you know Mike is more than willing to give one away for yeah. any lucky person. I guess you guys can choose. There once you we, go. Yeah. Once we have the winner, you can go on his website and any of those products, choose which one, which size, and we'll make it happen. We'll also be doing two fun little giveaways for smaller, but for the rest of it um so stay tuned yep. we also have a room a retail room that we're going to go to at the end of this tour that has a lot of these products up on the wall just showcased really beautifully it's it's fun for me you know i love shopping you do love shopping <laughs> and you mentioned the the website earlier and we want to let our viewers know you've got hundreds of products on that website so you can go on there and browse and have some fun so it's just not your dog bags your sheets and your pillows let's turn that way there's some some of those good Giza sheets getting ready to get shipped out. So uh, where are these going? Where, wh who, show me the process on that. Um, so, so these are right now our Giza Dream sheets. So this is uh, could be the buy go, it could be um, either or. We also have our striped ones, which are pretty new right now, which are selling really well for us. Um, but this is one of our number one sellers of the Giza sheets. So what, yeah, this is all direct to consumer, e-commerce. So what happens here is these people over here, we're actually running two lines trying to get as many orders as we can out right now for all the great support that we've been receiving mm -hmm. um, and we have been so that's what these people are doing okay. all right so let's keep walking i want to see where these pillows are stuffed with the oh let's go let that is probably one of the best parts brian has something to show y'all a cool new trick that we practiced <laughs> If, if my right side broadcasting career comes to a quick end. I honestly don't think you are cut out for this. I, I don't think what I, I saw. But I, but I think you're willing to give me a second chance on doing, sure. on working because. 100%. Redemption. If it's someone needs redemption, uh, let's go this way. It is me uh, on that. <laughs> but uh, so, okay. So w real quickly, we're, we're surrounded by towering boxes here. What are we looking at? Where are these products going? Uh, so all this right here could be sheets, towels, blankets. It could be any or any one of the multiple things that we're showing on MyPillow.com. The racking even behind us right here, these are the pillows that we are making right now that we're going to show you. And they're going just as quick as we can make them to customers that are, that, that are buying our product. So we're trying to keep up. Well, you've got to keep up. And yeah, that, we will. Yeah, I think you, you almost need like three or four more plants for my pillow to keep up with the demand, which we've talked about ever since everything kind of hit the news. Uh, the business here at my pillow has absolutely exploded. And it's, there we go. Let's turn, make sure we got Will, our, our great. It's going to be a little loud. So, disclaimer. We won't be in here for too long, but this is Brian's favorite part of this entire factory. Yes. Okay. So let's post up right here in front of this gentleman, Will. All right. Walk me through what's going on right now. So right now, this gentleman, 
Right now, this gentleman right here in the striped shirt, what he's doing is he's filling up the pillow with the foam that we grind up in our hopper right here to get to a certain feel of the pillow. What the, yep, what the guy right now, he's making, it looks like a standard pillow for Sam's Club. And the guy in the blue shirt over here with the black hat, what he's doing right now is getting us at our starting weight. So as Todd showed you guys earlier, those are the, the cases, the ticks that we make over in the sewing center. That's what these gentlemen and ladies are filling up and weighing right now. It also looks like every day here in the factory, there's a 100% chance of snow. It just, yes. <laughs> it's very, uh, what a beautiful yes. area. Okay, so so you've got several stations just like this set up in this area. Yes, sir. And they're we all sure doing do. the same thing. We actually have three going right now. Um, we're trying to man them as much as we can. Uh, we are making for three different companies right now. One for us, one for Sam's Club, and one for Walmart. Okay. All right, so Will, let's go ahead and walk An area that way, on there, sir, and uh, we're just going to kind of tell you what we're seeing, uh, and I'll just kind of walk our viewers through this process here. Say, Mary, let's go walk straight. We're going to... Oh, okay, so here we go. So so right here, the, the big stacks of foam that you guys seen in the back, this is where it comes to the final process. What these people are doing right here... They're grinding up our foam. They're taking the stick of foam, they're ripping it in half and throwing it into the grinder. If I remember correctly, when Mike was first starting off, he went and got a corn grinder, a corn meal that ground up the foam. I can't remember the exact details of the story, but it was something like that. And then as time went on, he's perfected it down to this perfect science. And that's how we get our patented ground up blend. Liz, this process to me looks very satisfying. I could do this job here, grinding stuff up. Yeah, well, absolutely. No, it's so cool. We spent a lot of time here earlier just watching it go through that first grinder and then up through these tubes and then eventually down into blender number two. This is aerating it and just mixing it all up, making sure it's soft and fluffy before going into the pillows. Okay, let's go that way now. Well, shouldn't we stuff the pillows first? We could. Like a sequence of it. Oh yeah, that's what they're doing. All right. So from there, it goes to stuffing so, the pillows. So, so right here, what this gentleman is doing is he's filling up the pillow. Here's a better angle for you. And what this nice lady over there is doing, they're weighing it to a starter weight. Now, Mike has a certain feel that he likes each one of his pillows to feel like, and I'll get into that as we go down the line, where one of my leads or shift lead will weigh the pillow every 15 minutes and feel the pillow compared to another pillow to make sure it's Mike's feel. So, so Mike has pretty much set the benchmark of how these pillows should feel. Okay, so now we've got them filled up. They come along here. What, what's next? So what, what's happening right now is they're sewing the pillow closed. And what these sewers are doing is they'll typically make about five to ten pillows a minute. Each sewer will sew that many. Okay. And what they're doing is they're making sure they sew it completely closed. That way when you're at home, you don't have any of the foam on your bed. All right, so let's walk down. So once they get filled, you have to make sure that they're all clean. And that's when you use the whole air. So so here, I just sorry, real quick. Okay. So right here is what I was talking about with Mike's feel. So these are what Mike wants each one of these pillows to feel like after we make it and we stuff it. And then what one of my lead does is they constantly are keeping track of the weight and the feel to make sure that this is what Mike's product should feel like. Gotcha, gotcha. It's one of the biggest things. They QA it. They're making sure there's no strings. The sewing is top notch. We want to make sure you get a premium product. This is, this is, we're about to have Brian's time to shine here. He might need some assistance. You ready? Um, right here, they're cleaning off the product okay. to make sure that there is no fluff left over. Right, there's and, no strings. And strings, they have cute little scissors. Yep, with no misprints. Misprint as well, well truly. I'm gonna perfect. I'm gonna set Brian up right now with a pillow. Yeah, Let's get Brian set up. Graham's gonna help him get set up and we're gonna put Brian to work. So he is going to I'll explain it. So when you get your pillows, a lot of you probably have they're actually really small. They've been folded extremely tight, compressed into these packages. And I always wondered how they did it, so we're about to see. Brian's getting it lined up right now. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. There we go. 
And so now he's gonna put a bag on it. And how many pillows would you say a day are y'all able to pump out here? Well, right now we're, we're averaging about 10,000 pillows a shift. So um, our second shift will come in, they'll do about 8,000 as well. So, and then um, that's just for this line. On our other two lines, right now we're, we're gonna average about 8,000 each one of them for the day as well. And remember, these pillows are all sold. We've already sold everything that we're making today. Absolutely incredible. So that's what, 24,000 a shift? It, it's gonna be anywhere between 17 to 21,000 pillows a shift. And how many shifts in a day? Two or three? We have two shifts, but only first shift will be able to can run the three the three lines. We just don't have the. We're in a hiring. We're trying to hire more and more people as we if speak. If you are in Minnesota and you need a job, come to my pillow. Yep. yep. And then, uh, if you guys want to, I'll show you this machine as well. Yes, of we'll course. We'll show you our retail side of this. So we're gonna look at a retail machine now. Want to show this one? So this one right here is uh, making for um, for Sam's Club. This is our standard eight, uh, 48 pack. This is for a floor display. Uh, we can't keep up with Sam's Club. They continuously are ordering more and more and more. Um, very grateful to have them stick stick by us during this time, actually. Um, Can I say something? How in the world do you get that thing to stay on the pillow like that? How much? Time preparation well, did that notice, take? If you notice this nice lady right here, she pats it down. This is an automated system right here. The eye makes the makes the makes the flyer fall down, and then it just kind of just stays on there. So she's she's basically prepping the pillow for this to drop down. Yes, sir. And she's also t giving it a one more over to make sure it feels well. Make sure that there's no misprints in the my pillow. Make sure that it's dusted off. There's no more um, foam residue on there. If it is, what she does is she pulls it off and then we re-inspect it. Yeah, that's... Can you imagine doing this by hand back in the day? Before all the automation? I cannot imagine doing it now with the machines. I mean, these people are working so hard around the clock, pumping out around 20,000 pillows a day. And it should be noted, I want to say thank you to everyone who's watched, supported my pillow, purchased a my pillow, because they have more orders than they have inventory right yeah. now while the left is trying to cancel them i mean it just goes to show that you can't cancel capitalism you can't and, and, and people want to support companies like my pillow and they see what he's making a difference in the community we've talked about the second chances we've talked about yeah. made in america and people want to support that so it's almost like every time you know cancel culture goes after someone or a business it t it seems to take off so uh, just what, I think what, my favorite machine is next. Okay. Yours oh as well. yes. Wait till you see this. So this is really neat. Um, Todd, you want to explain what this machine does? Pardon me. The prayer machine. Yes. So we have an inserter that will put a verse in every box for uh, the purpose. So this machine was custom built for the sole purpose, which is. Some people would say it's completely unnecessary, but the sole purpose of putting in a prayer for each pillow, so we can go to the other side and probably get a better look yeah, of around. what's happening there. We're actually gonna come over here and look at this one. It's just less, less crowded. Okay. Okay, so. No. We have to be careful, so of course, we're in a working factory. Okay. Great timing. Great timing. Great timing. So what is he doing? <laughs> right now he's taking, he's, he's taking out the bad box and he's gonna grab the pillow. And what we're doing is we're, just clearing out the chamber so we can go ahead and open up another box and we'll go ahead and get the machine running once again. There you go. And of course, how important to you guys that these Bible verses are put in this box? Uh, it's one of Mike's number one things. He wants to make sure that every single one, every single one of our retail boxes receives one Bible verse. Uh, he thinks that it's a good message of hope to someone that could be at the time opening up his pillow, getting the Bible verse. I mean, I can't tell you countless emails that we've received from people saying, man, that Bible verse was perfect. It, 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 it touched my heart at the right time. Um, as you can see right here, 
each each box is receiving one Bible verse. This feeder right here is shooting it in. And if you get a little angle right here, as the box goes, you can see it shoot in. I Can I yep. snatch one? You sure can. Go ahead. Why don't you read us a, a Bible verse there? God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Uh, so God. if anyone needed that encouragement, Psalm 46 1. Again, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Beautiful. A really okay. calming and encouraging okay. message of hope that's going in every pillow and it's All going right. in my pocket. Because well. what a nice memory to have from this experience. Again, just really thankful to be able to be here. On behalf of RSBN touring my pillows headquarters, they're extremely busy trying to fill orders and they're taking the time out of their day to give us a tour and to just really inform us of everything so we can be conscious. Well, let's, let's shoot the camera that way for a second. Once you described to me earlier, you were telling me that every one of these boxes of pillows is, is accounted for. Yes, sir. Every single pallet that you're seeing right here is for Sam's Club. It's already accounted for. All this other product that you're seeing right here in the brown boxes, those are also spoken for. Everything that you're seeing coming off these lines right now is already spoken for. These are orders that are already in process that have already been paid for, and we're trying to get them out just as quick as we can. Liz, imagine how many companies right now would love to have the problem of not having enough inventory. I mean, they, they you can't make this fast enough for the demand. No, we cannot, and we're, well, I don't want to say that. We are definitely giving it 120% right now to meet this demand. And as Mike Lindell, once he puts anything into anything, he gives it 120%. So we're going to get all these orders out in a timely order. And what's great, Liz, and I know we've said this from time to time that... And, and we're doing that right now, actually. Of what? Getting out all these orders in a timely manner. Gotcha. And a portion of these proceeds, when you put in the RSBN, comes back to... RSBN. So when you go on to MyPillow.com, MyPillow.com and put in the promo code RSBN, not only do you get a discount up to 66% off, but a portion, a portion of those proceeds go back to help yeah. us at the, at, here at the network. Absolutely. So 50% of all sales comes back to our Bright Side Broadcasting Network, which those numbers alone are really generous. Um, but above that, Mike has just been really incredible. I mean, for me as a young woman in the business world, I've learned so much. And mm -hmm. even just being here, at this headquarter factory distribution center um it's been really amazing yeah you can see this these forklifts they Sorry. do this all day long liz i, I mean wanna, this is I what make they're sure doing cameraman didn't back yeah. walk into that so this is uh 24 hours a day it looks like an operation here okay so now we've got the, the the total tour let's go back to the showroom and then that's where i think we're going to have a little bit yeah. of our opportunity and liz talked about this in the very beginning for you to win some amazing stuff there and you said that mike has even given away a bed a bed he yeah. said it not me yeah um so he wants to give one of our viewers a bed just as a thank you for supporting rsbn for supporting mike lindell and we know how much you guys love him that's why we're here it's kind of the driving factor towards saying hey let's take a company trip up to yeah minnesota minnesota, <laughs> minnesota and, um... which which is great hey we want you to like and share and comment in this video as well we want to get as many people watching it because a lot of people have been seeing only one side of mike lindell and that's what you see in the news but we really wanted to show you the business side the human side of mike lindell and what the the, the how his company is operated and how how he's employing people here in uh in, in minnesota and really when you think about it and we haven't touched upon this wait let's get that for a minute what's that <laughs> there we go this is worth everything I before There's not finish. enough money. I, I want a oh. lifestyle's cut out of Mike Lindell, by the way. There's not enough yeah. money. I will pay for that. I also want to say I was on the phone with him yesterday and today, and he says he is doing better than ever before. I know you've probably seen the left try and come after him. Mm -hmm. But doing better than ever before and said, I think, let me get this quote directly. Um, I'm, I'm going to not get it right. But basically that everything has happened for a time like this. So he's very confident in everything that's happening in his life, and he's very also proud of this business and how it's overcome these obstacles and grown amongst them. And let's talk about this for a second, guys. Uh, there's for one company like like My Pillow, there are dozens of companies underneath that that support your paper, your transportation, your your plastics, your foam. Like you've got a lot of people that support uh, that go into My Pillow. So not only when it's 
business is booming here, there's many companies underneath this that are prospering from this as well. Yes, sir. Like Federal Foam, um, we got our, our coordinated company that gives us our boxes, uh, plastic companies, fabric companies. Um, Everything you see here, there's other hands in play here to make this all come. Our glue company, our trucking, yeah. trucking all of it. Yeah. I do want to take this opportunity. So we're in this. This is the retail front. They're going to be building out a larger space in the back, but possibly get a my pillow expert, which one of you knows the products better to <laughs> because we always talk about the products. And this is so neat because it's not just the standard pillows. I mean, you. Yes. I want an explanation. I want all of this. I want our audience to see this. And I'm not sure the all this is going to fit my it. carry on. No, bag, I could probably Liz. figure it out. <laughs> Well, unless you want to, I think I could do it. You can do it. I'll do it. You got unless it, you want to. You can have multiple carry-on bags. Yeah. You guys know that, right? Okay, multiple so multiple carry-on bags. A, what is the most to pay for? <laughs> what is the most popular item that's that you guys sell? Oh, that's a trick. Qu premium. Yep, yep. A queen, a queen, a, a queen medium premium would be one of our, yeah, one of our Hello. biggest sellers. But I'm gonna be really honest right now with the, what we've been seeing in our volume. It's also gonna be our Giza sheets, our towels. I mean, we're there really is not one that is above the other i mean our two inch three inch toppers are selling like crazy as well um our new waffle blankets i mean we're we're as, as quick as we can get them in they're going out i mean we even got our throw blankets that we just put out there i mean they're they're going just as quick as we get them we have a we have a bed behind us we also have a uh it's like a, a bath. Yeah, a body pillow. We got a bathrobe. A bathrobe, which yeah, I don't know. When it's negative forty out, maybe I might want to have a bathrobe <laughs> when I get out of the, out of the shower. It'd be nice to do as well. Cool walk. I want to show some of my favorite products from today, in case y'all were curious. Then Brian can show, I guess, some of his. Um, two things I'm adding to my wish list. He was mentioning this, the waffle blanket. Um, it's just really a classic blanket. I like to throw it on top of my comforter and my duvet cover because my dog sleeps with me. So when she hasn't had her bath, you know, I just like to throw something like that on top of it um, so it doesn't mess up the duvet. But this is gorgeous and it's white, so it's the best because then you can just bleach it. Um, and then my second favorite thing over here is this throw blanket. It's called the chain knit and it comes in pink. This like blush pink tone, which is actually the theme of my apartment. So we'll be purchasing one of those as well using code RSBN. And then my third thing that I think is my favorite and then I'll let, oh man, I could, really, I could really go on. You could. But y'all know I love to sleep. I'm actually passionate about the luxurious sleep. lifestyle of robes <laughs> and linens. But that would be the MyPillow bathrobe. This is the women's size medium. They also have men's sizes as well. If you don't prefer like a unisex one. So I think it's cool. They have the different cuts, especially if it's a robe, you want it to fit nicely. And then my last thing, I couldn't choose three. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go over here. It's a bonus item here. Yeah. This was my first ever MyPillow product. I got it from Costco about 10 years ago. And now I have a new one because they used to only come, I think, in baby blue. And I hate the color blue. But now I have it in pink. And this is a lavender version. So it's really cool because it's a little pillow. You guys know we travel a lot. And I can roll it all the way up and stick it in the top of this and take it to go. I love it. Um, I've got real quick ones. Uh, I, I'm very simple. It's just a pillow. I use three pillows when Boring. I sleep. Uh, under the head, under the shoulder, and kind of by... I need a body pillow. So I guess I can throw that on there as well. But that, those are my favorite. That's not your favorite? Okay. I just, I just added mine to the list there. <laughs> I definitely need to take this home. Uh, that, is, that is genius. Uh, no, I love... And as you can see, it's more than pillows. And, of course, we've talked about that before. But we have breaking news. While you were talking, huh. um, our, our young lady here told us that the calls have been flooded oh. in here during this segment. Yay. And so real quickly, I know I know you didn't expect to be thrown on camera. What what are they saying and what are they asking for right now? Like are they saying I want to buy stuff oh, or a lot of people I'm buying a pillow right now. Um, talking a lot of great things about Mike and the company and yeah. wonderful. Yes. We love you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you. And you can see this is I mean it's, I think this just helps to realize how surreal it is and how unique it is to have it from start to finish. I mean, this, the mm -hmm. products are coming in raw and being shipped right out the door right here. They also have a storefront, and they've been so willing um, and able to just help us to out do this. today. Yeah, the and time. Not, yeah, and exactly, because not a lot of companies let you go back behind the wall 
to, no. to, to show how, how it all works. Move back over there. I left my phone somewhere. I want to grab it. Okay. And we'll be concluding soon, but of course not without figuring out who is going to want a new mattress. Yeah. I'm jealous because I just purchased a new mattress and they're not cheap. I'd like to um, stick this in the overhead <laughs> compartment or under my seat on the plane and the if winner it's possible. Is Liz Willis! No, look at you. Woo! Congratulations. You no, just I'm won. just kidding. Okay. So we're going to ask a question. We want to make sure you guys have been tuned in. Um, we're going to come up with a question right now. Before we do this, we want to make sure that all of the entries have liked this stream, whether it be whatever platform you're watching on, as well as sharing it and commenting it. This mm -hmm. is huge. The comments, anything more than three words really helps to just break this algorithm that big tech uses to kind of censor conservative outlets. So make yeah. sure you're commenting, commenting, sharing this with your friends and family. Okay, question number one. Mike Lindell. Well, wait, oh, pause. I want okay. the first answer. Okay. That, These that, are going to be the first. The so, or you, should we do three questions or just the first three? One oh, the will first. Be the mattress. Okay. And well, the last two will just be smaller. Okay, let's do one question. That would be for maybe a pillow or something like mm -hmm. that. And we'll build up to the grand prize okay. of, a, of, a, of the mattress. Okay. Want to do that? So the first one will be. Okay, first first question is. Wait, well, I'm gonna give them the prize first, so okay, they know. Go ahead. So it's super fair. Should we note this down? We'll just rewatch this. Okay, the first one will be a book and a standard pillow. Okay, we can remember that a book and a standard pillow. Okay, question number one for the game show. We need some theme music. Da -na -na. Oh, there we go. Mike Lindell gives people what? Mike Let's Lindell see. gives people what and this is specific to types of chances in the workplace right so just a little clue exactly. there exactly he could say he gives them a you know hope that's not it he gives them what so that's question number one for the book and a pillow question number two wait let's wait and see oh you're gonna do it live aren't we oh yeah we're doing this live the oh. first one i see well not necessarily don't kill me on that we we'll hope there's a little bit of delay there, so hopefully that we'll be able to find somebody, and hopefully you know. As My well. brother just texted me and said, "Liz, this is actually great." <laughs> yeah, this is good. Hey, you know what? Happy Friday, everybody! Wherever you're watching, I always like to say this: wherever you're watching. Oh, I found comment the down winner! Below. You I found, found the winner! All right. Okay, Haley's comment says Mike Lindell gives second chances. Again, Mike Lindell gives second chances. Yes. That's what I was looking for. So Haley's comment, um, and anyone else that wins, please send your email. Um, just email uh, feedback at rsbn.tv and we'll work this out. We'll work it out. Okay, question number two. Where does the foam come from that they grind up to make the stuffing for these pillows? Just the state. Just the state. Specific. I don't need a specific city. I don't remember the specific city, so I'm Neither not going to do, do I. that to y'all. But what state did the foam come from that they grind up and insert in the pillows and all these other wonderful products here. So that should be relatively easy, I think. We didn't. I'm waiting. Well, you know, we you have may have to. Let's say this. It's a little regional. It's regional to this area of the country. It gets cold. Here's a hint. It doesn't come from Hawaii. It's so like, I, they got I, a lot of cows, right? Yeah, they have a lot of cows. Uh, there's a great football team in that state. Uh, almost made it. Love their, cheese. To, love their cheese. Almost made it to the Super Bowl. So what state? does the foam come from that they grind to put in these products? And we'll wait for a winner. On got, that. It. got it. Got it. All right, here we got. Tisa Brown says Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Winner, winner, chicken All dinner. All right, again, Tisa Brown, if you could please email feedback at rsbn.tv, uh, your email and your shipping address. And again, we'll get that taken care of. So that was going to be for the pillow, a book, and a bathrobe okay. so those three items you can choose um if you have specifics what size bathrobe and color all right so this is for the grand prize here for a queen coil bed in a box now the retail value on this is 979 dollars. so someone's going to sleep really good and if you're like us and you value a good night's sleep because we travel so much Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I'm so we've got to come up with a really good question. I don't even want to be responsible I know, for this because they're going to be like, why well, I said it first. I know. I really okay, this would be really simple, though. Hang on. Maybe I'll let the guy. You want? You got a good question for us? I was going to say, what is this gentleman's name? Well, come on in. Come on in. Yeah, oh, well, that's a good question. I don't, but you know what? To fairly, I don't. Well, yeah, I think he did introduce himself. I did introduce myself. Okay. Oh, uh, they're going to. I well, like this question. It needs to be tricky. This is they really need to tricky. Find it. Yeah, you may have to go back and re watch this segment and from if the you're very smart, beginning. You've already started doing that. Yeah. So, oh. so this gentleman here, first, your title here. 
I'm a per- production coordinator okay. at My Pillow. And you talked about your second chance in, in working here. So he introduced yes, himself earlier. So if you go back and watch, and we may not be able to announce the winner live on the air. We'll try to while we're still on. Uh, you can get uh, a, a queen coil basically bed in a box, which is retail value of 900 Yes, ma'am. Okay. That is where we are reading these answers okay. from, because they might be trying somewhere else. Correct. Yeah, if you're on Facebook watching this or somewhere else, it, it, you're not going to see that. We are going off the YouTube stream to answer these questions. So, as you know, which, by the way, uh, you can go now follow us on Twitter. Uh, that's back up. You can obviously watch us on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, we're on Instagram. We've grown that account as well. Uh, so, we're on Clout Hub. Channel 112, these masks are something else, man. They keep slipping down. I, there's no mask etiquette on television anymore. You just fix it. You don't wait to go off camera. You just adjust it. But we are doing the uh, social distancing and all the health protocols uh, here. Uh, while we're looking for that and while you guys are trying to find what this gentleman's name is. Did you announce, did you like specifically say like, the question? The question is, what is this gentleman's name? He introduced him earlier in the segment talking about second chances. We posted it up. Uh, so go check it out. Uh, let's talk weather for a second. Okay, we're in Minnesota. My first time in this state uh, right now, about seven degrees outside. Wind's blowing, negative uh, wind chill. Uh, it's going to be negative 40 tomorrow. Thank God we leave uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, how long have you lived here, and what's the coldest you've ever seen it in Minnesota? Uh, I've lived here for about five years right now, and I think the coldest I ever seen it was when it was negative 26 the last time we had the polar vortex. Yeah, and, and Will was shaking his head back here. We got one. What? We have break. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I get my breaking news. Hang on. Ready? Yes. We have breaking news. What do we have? Congratulations to Holly Noel or Noel who said Graham. Yep. Graham. Nice. She, she just won. Where's our sticky note? Let's get the name right. Um, courtesy of My Pillow and Mike Lindell, a queen coil bed in a box, which retails for nine hundred and seventy-nine dollars. So our grand prize winner of the day. Um, again, those three winners, I screenshotted them. But in order to get your prize, you must email feedback at rsbn.tv um, with your name, address, and tell us what you won. I'll confirm all that, and I'll get in touch with My Pillow to make it happen. Wonderful. Okay. Also, on a programming note, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world today. Uh, well. Stay tuned to all of our social media for that. We will be out in Florida. We'll be out in California as well. So stay tuned because we're kind of taking this show, uh, if you will, on the road and just covering some of the things that you uh, want to see from uh, Right Side Broadcasting. Uh, it's been fun here. Yeah, it's it's, it's, been, it's been it's been great, and hopefully they'll let me back in to be an employee. Maybe I, I don't know how many employees you have, always. but I, I can, I'll, I'll, always we'll take you any day, Brian. There you go. Well, there you go. If it doesn't work out here at RSBN, I need you here. I'll be I'll be over here in my pillow anyway. Uh, any parting words before we... Yeah, uh... A few. Um, so if you saw something you liked here today, make sure to check it out. You can buy all of these items and so much more at www.mypillow.com. Make sure, please, to use code RSBN, not only for a discount for you, but it does come back and help support us here at Right Side Broadcast Network, and you can save up to 66%. We also have a documentary called Absolute Proof that dropped today. It's Mike Lindell's personal documentary. Um, not with my pillow, but it's his. So check that out. That's on our Clout Hub. Uh, we couldn't put it anywhere else because they'll ban us. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. But you can check that out. Cloud Hub channel 112. It's called Absolute Proof. Mike has been working so hard on that. And just a message from him. He wanted to say hello to you guys. He's doing great. And he's so excited. Yeah. Uh, to also to recount, we'll be down in Florida on President's Day there in, in Miralago for a celebration of Donald Trump. So we'll put up more information on that. But I, those of us watching us in South Florida, we have an event coming to your neighborhood. If you could hold this, I want to do one last thing before we it's like a kid in a candy store I here. I just want to recreate <laughs> Mike Lindell. <laughs> this is really it's beautiful. So much fun here. Hey, guys, thank you so much for having thank us. Thank you. Welcome. We thank are you. signing out here today. Joe, let us know when it's clear. But again, such an honor. I think we still have some shopping to do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> As always, goodbye. God bless from uh, the beautiful state of Minnesota and my pillow. Just going to go to sleep over here. For the best night's sleep. There you go. We'll see you guys.